Hold on. I'm getting a call from... Hold on. Ian's calling me. Yep. Uh-huh. New affix announced. Hold on. You gotta stop the mobs from stealing breast milk from the company fridge. I don't even know where to start. This is so... infuriatingly... ignorant of the climate of Mythic Plus right now. So this is... These are the changes that they talked about with... with the affixes, if you haven't seen them yet. They got rid of Afflicted, which is like, yo, that should be a, that should be a positive, right? Thumbs up from me. Afflicted's gone. Let's just go through them. Okay, so Afflicted. reckless. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I might have to. I might have to turn that off while I'm ranting because it's gonna piss me off. Afflicted. Okay, yeah, I know you guys are just. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. These are the new affix that they decided to test on beta. Obviously, none of these are solidified into being in the game, but the fact that they think this is even, like, something to even think about or experiment with just proves that they have no idea what they're doing with it, right? So, non-boss enemies without mana ignore 20% armor with their attacks, but their armor is reduced by 30%, and they take 10% increased arcane damage. That's one of the four. All of those are a replication of something along those lines, right? Do something more to tank. Take... To uh, take extra damage from two different sources. First of all, how the fuck are we like no name a single not even MDI players? I'm talking over myself. Not even MDI players can list all the mobs in the game that don't have mana. Like how? What percentage of that? That's such a weird stipulation. I understand why I guess because like if they have mana, they're not going to be auto attacking, so it's useless on them. But it's weird. Clearly, the idea behind the 30% reduced armor and 10% increased arcane damage is so that they don't have some form of meta that has been happening in the past three seasons the season two three and four where org is always needed and it's some iteration of mage and then something else right this season then a season two it was priest season three it was mage what else was it? it was mage demon hunter maybe i think something like that but there's always a specific meta um season two it was the worst in like it was absolutely abysmal in season two this is their way of addressing it by making it worse by giving us two negatives there's no positives here. I understand that there's extra damage for like physical and arcane there, but all that means for any pug play, even not even pug plays, but key pushes, it just means you're not taking specific classes that week. Why would you ever take anything else? Because these replaced all of these, right? They got rid of afflicted and corporal, entangling, storming, and volcanic, and replaced it with these four. And then they kept four for the plus sevens. Obviously, the rotation is going to be 4 4 instead of 5 5 that they're doing this week, uh, that they're doing this season. Because there were five Tyran combinations and five fortified combinations. It's obviously going to be four fortified combinations and four Tyran combinations with these, right? But these, these are worse than that. The plus four keys are way worse than the plus seven key affixes. Like non boss enemies with mana. Inflict 20% increased magic damage, but take 10% increased nature and 30% increase from bleed. Non-boss enemies with mana have 30% increased haste, but take 10% increased frost and fire. Like, it's just, okay, this is mage, warlock, uh, frost DK, this is rogue and boomies, and then shadow and holy. Oh, that's just paladin priest weak. And then arcane physical, that's just mage again. Mage, boomy. Uh, and fucking every single melee class in the game. That's what the, this is explicitly for high keys. You can get away with this without it. Like, if you're just doing your weekly tens or whatever, you can get away without this. But who the fuck is going to play the game and go, let's just not even, like, play to the affix. That's the point of Mythic Plus is to playing to the affixes. That's their idea of it, right? As much as everyone hates affixes, their idea of the affixes is to make people play against them, with them, to change the dynamic of the game. But all of these suck if you follow them. And if you don't follow them, it's completely useless. You ignore the entire mechanic that they're trying to build around Mythic Plus if you want to just ignore these changes. Those are the only two arguments you have with this, is you either deal with it, play the really shitty locked-in comp every week, you're going to have to run like three different ults to make sure you got the right damage type that week, otherwise you're not going to be pushing keys. Good luck getting the highest IO on the single character. It's going to take months because you're going to have to wait for your weekly rotation, your spec and class to be able to push that key. Not to mention, like... Everything is going to clap the fuck out of tanks now. There's two things that, th that these affixes have done. They've locked in specific comps weekly, and then they've made it so tanks can't giga pull all of the fucking, like they can't stress pull, where they really, really try to limit test how much they can do in one pull, burst it all down in windows, uh, CD windows, and make, like that's what's really, really fun about key pushing. 
figuring out the absolute limit that you can push and a lot of that is reliant on the tank and what he can survive. That's why tanking in Mythoplus is so much more fun than it is in raiding because you're actually actively tanking shit. All this does is make that less fun for tanks. So all this does for tanks is make the game worse for them, right? In the probably least played spec in the game, this makes it less attractive to them. But like either way, like, yeah, there are obviously going to be outliers with specific specs as well. Okay, what about demon hunters? They deal chaos damage. What does chaos damage fall under? Well, chaos damage is every magic type. Oh, really? Yep. Okay, well, that changes that then. So I guess just demon hunters giga every week. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh my god. So if you do chaos <laughs> damage, you're fucking busted. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. They did not think this through at all. <laughs> So this is the current rotation, right? You got 10 weeks and then it repeats after every 10 weeks. They've already lowered it down to eight. Fuck these two, these are gone, right? They've already lowered it down to eight a week. So what you ideally need are like four affixes and then you can rotate it between four Tyran. That's like the absolute minimum, yeah? So we need, because he, here's, my, here's my idea. Get rid of the plus four affixes, those are gone. Drop Black Bane as background. <laughs> that better? That'll work. What they need, what everyone is, this is nothing new, right? What people need to be, what they need to be doing is get rid of the plus four affixes. Those are shit. The ones that you replaced them with are fucking shit. Get rid of all those. Keep plus seven affixes. Turn all the seven plus affixes into the seasonal affixes that you did previously that people really, really like. You've got Awakened. You've got the, the Sepulchre one. I forget what it's called. Um, you've got fucking Reaping and Prideful, which you can fix. I know those have some issues, but you can fix, and I'm about to fix them here. Shrouded, I don't really remember Shrouded too much, but I'm, I guarantee you it's better than whatever the fuck these guys are cooking up. That's five affixes right there. You can go back on a 10-week rotation. That's eight weeks. You've got Fort, Tyrant, Fort, Tyrant, Fort, Tyrant, and so on, right? That's the current rotation for War Within. It's on an eight-week rotation. It's going to swap between Fort and Tyrant, so you get a bunch of different combinations of the two. You can fucking scrap this shit. All this shit's gone, right? All of these, get rid of all of those. So there's no plus four affixes. They're all gone. Now you've got all these plus seven affixes, and you can replace those with... Hold on, let me... These are all like the really, really cool, awesome seasonal affixes, yeah? Now, obviously, the things you don't need to change. You don't need to change Awakened. Awakened is perfectly fine as it is. Same with Encrypted. Shrouded is whatever. That can be the shitty affix out of all of them, if I, if I, for all I care. It's still way better than anything else that they brought up, right? Now, the issues with Reaping and Awake and Prideful was that they gave no percent. A lot of the time, you just skipped it. Reaping, you always skipped because it gave you zero things. All it did was increase the amount of time it had on the dungeon. Here's how you fix that. You make it happen at every 20% like it always does. So every 20% of mobs, every 20% you spawn reaping. All the mobs that respawn, like they used to do, same as always, they all give 5% once you kill all of them. That way you get 4, like 4 times 20, that's 80. 4 times 5, that's 20. That's 100% of your mob count right there, just by doing the affix. That changes the way you run dungeons, you get to skip different packs, it changes the way that you do it during that week, especially if it's Fortified or Tyran. You can do different pulls, different weeks, depending on like what other affix it is, whatever dungeon it was, because you're not going to have the same combination for like two months in a row. That changes everything. You can do the exact same thing with Prideful. Prideful is 20%, it spawns a Prideful, and then killing Prideful is 5%. Or you can fuck around with the percents or whatever because obviously I don't know if killing that is worth 5% compared to the rest of the dungeon. You still might even skip it, get rid of the damage buff and just get 5% elsewhere, who cares? That could You could tune that up, that's still way better than what it was. And then obviously Encrypted and Shrouded and Awakened, they're all- Awakened is the fucking GOAT, Awakened is the best seasonal affix they've ever done, they need to bring it back, period. Encrypted is essentially just a slightly different Awakened, I think it actually might even be better than Awakened because you didn't have to kill anything with it. Um, it just changed the way that you did the dungeon with Awakened. I think you could do even bigger skips. Just, it changed the way that you played the dungeon. And then all you need to do is fucking flip it on its head, right? That's five weeks right there. You got Fortified Awakened, Tyran Prideful, Fortified Encrypted, Tyran Shrouded, Fortified Reaping. Swap them so it's Tyran Reaping, Fortified Shrouded, Tyran Encrypted, Fortified Prideful, Tyran Awakened. That means it's much easier for the lower end people to do their plus fours and everything up to plus sevens. 
is they don't give a shit about the affixes anyway. You already ignore them on plus fours. Don't need those to be in the game. Get rid of them, scrap them. Plus seven affixes, everything above that, you replace it with these. You still got your 10 week rotation, even though they've already lowered it to eight for War Within. Still got your 10 week rotation. It's all the fucking amazing, giga cooked affixes that everyone fucking loves. And you just change that percentage stuff around for Prideful and Reaping so that everyone loves them. You don't skip them, because that's the easiest way to get people to stop skipping them. Make them valuable, make them worth your time. Because the reaping mobs were just piss weak versions of the other ones and you got to do giga AoE, right? If you just made that give percent, then you're fucking, you're set. Same thing with prideful. You could probably change it up a little bit so it's not as annoying, because prideful was an annoying mob to deal with. But it gives you a damage buff, which reaping doesn't. That's different. You got Encrypted, which is always fucking amazing. You got Awakened, which is always fucking amazing. Plus you got the BFA Nostalgia. And then you got Shrouded, which is probably the weakest of all of them, but it's still much better than whatever the fuck these things have to offer. That's all garbage. All of that is shit. And they're not getting rid of any of those. I think they're getting rid of Spiteful, actually, which is arguably the easiest one out of all of these to do. Instead, what we get is the absolute fucking shit show of affixes that they decided to add on where they clearly don't play their own goddamn game because they have no idea what the climate feels like right now because they're obviously ignoring season four because there have been very very minimal changes to the game in season four even in season three i think we got more changes in season four than we did season three and season four has had less changes than mr pandaria remix which is a fucking shit show to begin with mr pandaria remix tuning has had more changes than season four Season 4 has probably had a little bit more maybe on par changes with Season 3. They clearly- I don't know what the thought process is behind it. I hate being a Doomer. I don't like to be a Blizzard Doomer because it feels so- I don't know what- like inappropriate and clickbaity. I want to love the game. I want to love playing Mythic Plus. And guess what? This is like the easiest fucking way to do it. This is like a- <laughs> this looks like a maniac scramble like fucking scribbles on a wall. I'm in a- I'm in an asylum right now. You gotta listen to me. And this all see, all this does is limit your groups. It limits the people you play with. It limits how often you can play, especially if you main one spec in class, which every, like, probably half, if not more than half of the, like, higher end players that are gonna give a shit about this, I'm talking 10 plus, anything above a 10 is people pushing keys because you don't get extra, any extra gear out of that, right? Anyone doing above 10s is gonna give a huge fuck about these affixes. And these affixes are applied in plus fours, which is a weird thing to do. Half of the shit is already in the game, you just need to change, tweak a couple things. Everyone talks amazing stuff about all these affixes, uh, except maybe Shrouded. And it doesn't get rid of affixes like everyone keeps saying. There's always that, that comment about like, you know, if they just removed affixes from the game and just had infinitely scaling on uh, damage and health, people would enjoy Mythic Plus a lot more. I don't 100% agree with that. I think it would be better than the current state if you got rid of every single affix, but the game would get, inc it would get incredibly monotonous and boring. Nothing would change week to week. I still think there's some value in adding flavor that changes every week to make the game slightly more interesting they don't want to they don't want to admit they can't innovate it's so easy to change though this is stuff they've already come up with i'm not the first person to come up with this i'm pretty sure i've heard this from other people maybe not like verbatim but like so many smarter people and people that were better at the game than i am have been talking about this for fucking ages just bring the seasonal affixes back as regular affixes innovate on them you don't have to always have these affixes you can change it up and if it's shit, you get rid of it. Don't put that seasonal affix in. Put a new one in. Think of a new one. It's only one affix as opposed to the two that you would honestly have to do every time. I agree with Asmongold on one thing. I think the problem is they fuck up something, then the new people come in instead of fixing it, they add a new shitty thing. I don't know what their design philosophy is. It's, it's too hard to tell. I don't know the inner workings of Blizzard, but that sounds like it's what it's doing from an outside perspective. It looks like that it's just, like, bass miscommunication on like a huge end within court i don't know who the fuck makes these decisions but they need to fix this shit because if this stuff goes through i would be very surprised if this stuff goes through there has been so much vocal disagreeance with this like no, like 24 hours within 24 hours of this being announced i don't think there has been a single person who goes well hold on maybe this might be okay every single person thinks this is fucking dog shit which baffles me that they decided to put this into even test. 
How do you not know that this is just going to be shit? If this goes through, season one's dead. I'm I'm being that doomer. If this goes through, season one of War Within is going to be so fucking abysmal that the only people playing are the hardcore people that give a shit about MDI, that don't really have another game to play at that point in time. I really, really fucking hope that they just do the same thing that every single person has been saying to do for the past like three, four years. Anyway, that's most of my yapping done. <laughs> That's that's my therapy session for today. That'll cost you guys about $300. Um, season 3 and 4 have really pushed me into playing Mythic Plus way more than I ever have before. I've pushed IO way more than I ever thought I gave a shit about. And it's been a lot of fun, even though the current state of the game has been so fucking abysmal with the lack of changes, the way that the affixes are, and just even the comps and metas, and the way that the scaling works. With, like, everything, the only thing that determines whether or not you finish your key is if you get one shot or not. Doesn't matter about the timer. No one gives a shit about the timer anymore. Which is weird as fuck to say out loud when what you think about with Mythic Plus is a timed dungeon. That's the whole point of it. No one cares about the timer anymore. Because if, as long as you live the mechanics, you're fine. You'll time it. At least with the current wall of, of key levels. If you, t if you don't die to shit in plus 20s, there are people out there two-chesting 20s. The only the only impact that the dungeon has is whether or not you get one shot, which is why Org Evokers are so strong at the moment, because everyone needs to have that extra defensiveness. That's an entirely different issue to this affix stuff, but the fact that they haven't addressed it since Season 1 and 2 of Dragonflight, like this has been a thing for all of Dragonflight, I don't exactly remember too much of Shadowlands to know if it was an issue in Shadowlands, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's the way that the scaling worked, that it was sort of fucked. You know what this double-edged sword is? It's you can't pull really big pulls, which is what makes Mythic Plus fun, and you're locked into bringing specific comps. That's just current season, but fucked. That's, that's what this is, for lack of a better word. It's whatever the current season is right now, where everything fucking one-shots you, on crack, and then instead of being locked into one comp, every week it changes. And, okay, this doesn't matter at all, but the fact that in the pl in the plus seven affixes, the only one that they got rid of was the one that was the most bearable. The only one they got rid of in this roster was Spiteful. Everything else in here fucking sucks. Bolstering is stupid. Bursting is stupid. Sanguine fucking sucks. Raging is unbelievably stupid. The fact that you can't stun them. Like, what? There is no counterplay to raging. You know what raging is? Kite. Kite or die. Or both. You just get both because some of them are casters, and who gives a shit? Fuck you. Buy our game. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what raging feels like. Dude, new affix. Zalatel's gonna come out of your screen and punch you in the balls. Every 30 seconds. Deal with it.